welcome to our channel, Adventures of Jenna and Dale. And this video will mostly be adventures of myself. Jenna makes a little short appearance, but uh, overall, it's a project that I had been working on for the past couple years. And then I've had the footage, I just hadn't had time to make it. Some people would ask, whatever happened to that bar top that I had worked on? I was like, oh yeah, I still have that footage. So, finally, I went back, found all the footage, and uh, I put together this video. So there's a, a few different clips from different time frames, and from the bar top, worked on it, from the classic Disney villa is the house. It's a great Airbnb. They've even done more to it since the last time I've been there. So if you also go to the website uh, or look them up, you can find it. I'll share the link so you can find the house down below. Well, the house isn't gonna be down below, but you know what I mean, the link will be down below. I edited it together so it makes, makes sense. But I did stain it and then we decided to go with epoxy. So that's why it took a little bit longer as well. But I only showed the epoxy version of the bar top. So it is over multiple time periods, but it all flows together fairly well. And it is a timeless video. So uh, it does look like it could have happened last weekend. So, but I finally got it put together and uh, hope you enjoy it. Well, look at this. This looks pretty familiar with the green color and everything. If you haven't seen the video, go back and watch the video where I painted this. And uh, this weekend, I'm back again. Nice little adventure weekend. And uh, I'm back at this classic Disney villa, which you can rent when you come down to uh, Orlando and enjoy all the fun. But look at this room. They have it all set up and everything. Look at these bad boys. Look at how cool this is. Much better with everything in here. Look at that. Little fridge over there. Now that's cool. Inside the barrels. And look at this over here. Look at all these. It has the Jungle Cruise vibe. How cool. And that's exactly what they're going for. This is, this is awesome. And nothing better than a monster TV to play some video games or hang out here and watch a ball game or a movie or anything else. But what I'm here for this time around is uh, this project right here. What? No way. Look at that. Now that's a slab and a half off of a tr tree. Look how cool that is. So uh, my project is to put a nice little finish on this. I gotta sand it down quite a bit and then put a nice finish on that. It's gonna look incredible. I love that. That was a genius idea on their behalf. So the first thing I gotta do is knock off all this rough edge stuff. Knock all that off. And I got this grinding wheel here in order to do that. So that'll be step one. Well, it took a little longer than expected. I don't have an orbital sander, but if I would have, I think it would have went a little bit quicker, but 
This thing is smooth as a baby's bottle. This sucker is smooth and good to go. The only thing is I have to run to Lowe's and get some wood filler. There's a, some cracks in here, uh, so I gotta make sure I fill those in. So I have to fill all the cracks in and let that sit overnight, and then I'll have to come back tomorrow and sand the rest of that. Other than that, the hurt part's done. Well, it's the next morning. Last night I got the cracks and all filled in with some wood filler. So now I'll sand it back down and it'll be ready for the first coat. Much better. Well, it's all sanded down. It's inside. It's ready for the first coat of finish. So since the last time we were here, they've made some upgrades to the house. What? No way. Look how cool is this? How cool is that? So I go, well shoot, where did I put my uh, chips? I got something for that. Look at this. How cool. That's awesome. But they've also made some other changes. Let's go check those out. Here we go. Let's go check out the other changes. So they have one, two, three, four, five bedrooms upstairs. And uh, if you haven't seen it, we've done a full tour of it also. But this here is an upgrade. This is super cool. Let me see if I can go like that. Watch this fan. Here it comes. That's very clever. Love that. All right, let's go check out the other room changes they made. I think the blades will go back inside. There they go. Going back inside. Maybe. There they go. Fixed it. Now this room, they did a fantastic job. Wow. Wow. Peter Pan, the ship and everything. And the mural, mural, it's tough to say. Uh, it's incredible. Look at that. You can see them. The gator's getting them. Check out over here. Now that is super cool. And here's their little game table that I showed in the previous video when I was painting the house or the garage. I didn't paint the house. I just painted the garage. All the world is made of faith and trust and pixie dust. And if that didn't impress you enough, Al's Toy Barn, bunk beds, the egg in the back, that may, may be uh, Humpty Dumpty. He's sitting on the wall. That's pretty cool. And over here, we got the cow Jumping over the moon. Oh, I didn't even notice this earlier. Look at this. K 
characters. Uh, not too sure that's supposed to be one or not. That not sure. looks like it's got Donald's hat. This is definitely Mickey. And uh, Pluto. That's cool. I didn't even notice that before. Let's see if there's any other uh, Easter eggs in here. Oh, found one in the clouds. Now that's super clever. Great idea. Another one. Well, this weekend did turn into adventures with Jenna as well. Not just me. Uh, so what are you doing? I am editing our Dapper Day video for Resort TV One. Awesome. We had so much fun yesterday. Yep. So while Dale's doing all the stuff out in the garage, I'm working too. And uh, we had some lunch. Went down to Taco Bell, got some Taco Bell. Fancy. And uh, they had an Aldi right next door. So we got uh, macaroons, macarons, and some chips and ranch and stuff. So uh, maybe yeah. Some blizzard, oh yes, may get some blizzard or McFlurry later, <laughs> and the hot tub's nice and hot, so that as well. Yeah. But it's windy outside and a little chilly, so yeah, it's weird. I think mean, because it rained. Yeah, we had rains and storms yesterday. Mm. All right, here is uh, back in the garage. And you can see they got a new banner. That is so cool. Sort of puts the finishing touches on it in the garage. And it uh, covers up the windows and stuff and just takes all that away. That's super cool. But the bar top, we're going to try the epoxy. And I've never done it before. But I've watched a ton of videos, read the instructions. I think I can do it. So uh, I'll give it a shot. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. is coming down from the other side you don't catch it all it just gets on the paint and not on this bottom side then you don't have to worry about sanding it down and everything else uh, so I love that tip I'm gonna give it a try so I want to make sure all the dust and everything is off I already wiped it down so I'm gonna take tape it's gonna take a while I already did a section of it and uh, make sure all the dust is off. Like a lid roller. You do that all the way down. Another very important piece of the puzzle is to make sure it is level. coat or the coat on and it is self-leveling it'll all level itself out but look how cool that looks sorry about the bright light over there and then one thing with this with epoxy you'll get all these air bubbles and then you'll have to 
or I have to continuously, I have a torch and you watch those air bubbles sort of pop. And you just continuously go over it to pop all the air bubbles. And the air bubble is caused by the, uh, the breathing of the wood. Since there was not a sealer on it ever, the wood breathes and it causes those air bubbles where the epoxy is going down into it. So just continuously do this and get as many of those air bubbles out as possible. But that looks incredible already. Love that. So here you can really see all those bubbles and how this torch goes along and pops them all. And then it'll smooth all back out. See all these bubbles right here? Pops them. And then it smooths back out. I've been doing this for close to an hour now. It takes quite some time. We gotta make sure many of them popped. You can I can then sand it afterwards and then the pop top of the bubbles will get sanded and then uh, put the next layer on. I read should fill those bubbles then as well, but I want to make sure I get the majority of them. So I'm back on another project, and when I say I'm back, because this video it's all it's all together. This is literally maybe a month afterwards, and uh, they had asked if I would be interested in doing another project, and it includes this here. I said sure. So I'll show you what that project is. So they have this hallway closet, and it's a genius thought they had. I love it. They have this hallway closet, but they need more, since this is an Airbnb, they need more owner's closet as well, so when they come back, they can just keep some of their stuff stored here and uh, don't always have to bring it back and forth when they travel back and forth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to divide the closet, put a wall in the middle, turn it into two closets, then one will be their closets and another one will be a uh, cleaning, the cleaning lady's closet as well. So this is what it looks like before I get started on it. I'll have to take the shelf and everything down and, uh, and I'll build the wall, a divider wall in there. And then I'll have, and I'll we'll get some locks and put some locks on the door as well. It's a little noisy because I got my air compressor to build my wall. Let's check it out. Yep, there it is. Here's the rest of my pieces.
Well, I haven't used my gun in a while, my nailer, and apparently it needs a little bit more grease. I oiled it before I left, but it's not working right. So we gotta go back to the screws. They just take longer. And uh, it is what it is. So got the wall in. I actually forgot to film it afterwards. I put it in last night. Uh, it is the next morning, Saturday morning, and I already got my uh, piece of sheetrock uh, there. They're four by eight sheets. Had to go to Lowe's this morning, and I didn't have room in my vehicle to put it in a four by eight sheet. So I measured it beforehand, and uh, I cut them down in the parking lot before I left, and then they fit in there. And it's perfect. So, good to go. Well, if you work hard, then you gotta play hard. Let's see how that parrot can help us out. So after the first coat, I am uh, I'm pretty pleased. There are some air bubbles. I popped them, but it was during the phase already after they popped. It didn't really fill back in, but that's why this is just a seal coat. So then, as you can see, I'm sanding it down and put the next coat on and I'll fill all that in and should be super smooth, but I love the way that looks. My first time, I'm super happy as of now. So I gotta sand the rest of it down and put on the next coat.
So I got the final coat on, been popping the bubbles. It looks incredible. It looks amazing. For my first time, it looks amazing. I don't think I could have done too much better. Watched a lot of videos, took a lot of tips and tricks, and it's turning out great. It's self-leveling, so there's still a few places here and there that uh, everything's combining together, and it'll take a good five to eight hours to get hard, and a fish in a full 72 hours to completely be set and cured. I like it. It is now a couple months after last time I've been here, just because I've been super busy. But, bonus is, somebody was able to come, mud, and finish off this wall. It looks perfect. So now, my goal is today to put a lock on this door. And the tricky thing is, since it's not a regular swinging door, you couldn't just put a regular lock on this door. So I found these locks, this type of a lock. It's more like a sliding glass door type of a lock since that is what is needed. It has a hook there, so the hook will then hook and then keep it from sliding. So I think it'll work well. Never installed one, first time for everything. Locks are installed and they work nicely. So there's the catch plate in here. On the inside, it's just there's a hook there. When you go to put it, lock it, boom. Nice, nice and tight. Those locks work nice. They didn't fit perfectly, so I had to do a little bit of engineering and made them work. The directions weren't ideal, but I had the proper tools and everything to make it work perfectly. Well, now officially that project is done. Got the wall in, the locks are on, and I'm super happy with it. It turned out great. Now to finish the other projects. So here I was adding the blocks. These will go to underneath the bar top, because when they go on these barrels here, it'll raise it up. So what I did, I cut, cut them down, stained them, they look super nice. And then, what I'm gonna do, I'll screw this one to this bar top. Then I'll screw this one to this one. And then I'll fasten it to that. Instead of gluing it, that way if they ever want to reuse this top for anything else, with glue, it'll ruin the bar top. Yes, it's got hole in it, but you can patch that and it's much easier to take apart than if you glue it. So I screw, uh, I'll screw it, and I made some inset holes so the screw heads will be hidden. Hopefully this is the last time I'm doing this. I think it's done. And it's heavy. Now just center it. Center it and we're good to go. Because now that it's got that lift on it, this way. This way. There we go. You have your car chair. Sit right underneath here. And it's perfect. Absolutely perfect height. I am happy. Happy and happy. Quite the project. Turned out great. I'm super happy with the project. And now it is done. So, uh, several, several months in the waiting. And now it's complete. Check out this room. How cool is this? 
with the chairs, the banner in the back, the big old TV. So cool. Make sure you uh, rent out this space for your next vacation.